So what kind of interaction do we see besides you interact with the main defenders? But like, do we get to see you interact with the other like, supporting characters from the other show? Uh, I don't know what I can say. Oh my gosh, I've had this question so much. Um, I mean, they pretty much announced most of the cast at this stage, all of the ensemble. And yes, I think that I, I'm in scenes with almost everyone at some point. Um, <laughs> I definitely interact. Besides the main guys, I definitely interact with two characters more than two new characters more than anyone else. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a nightmare for you to write. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's my answer. <laughs> What's different from the other uh, series? You know. What's unique about the Defender show compared to Daredevil, The Cage? I think just just at their at their core, each of the other shows are about individual people who are very isolated, who have to go on journeys, you know, and and, uh, and have to kind of realize things about themselves as they make their way through the world, whether or not it's Daredevil or Jessica Jones or you know any any of them. Um, and this show really becomes about, I think, a family dynamic, and it really becomes about how four people who are completely isolated, purposely, uh, have to let deal other people in, uh, into their lives, let other people in, and, uh, and trust people. It's a show, I think, ultimately thematically about that trust, and about people forced to come together, as uh, people who are, who are very isolated, kind of forced to, to lift those boundaries. Mm -hmm. One of the, uh, I mean, it seems like every series, or each season of each series before this kind of has its own, like, defining characteristic. For Daredevil, it seems unquestionably it's the action. Um, so I kind of have two questions. You know, what what is the action of this? Like, what, how do you guys match that type of action that has come in the series before this? And also, how do you balance all of those tones when you're bringing all these characters together, who each come from a, a series which is built around their character's specific tone? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a two-part, super complicated question. But uh, first of all, I would say like the the, the iconic kind of Daredevil fight is is the is the one man against a room full of people fight right, right? and so even just by, just by their virtue the way we're going to shoot these things we can't shoot the four of them fighting a room full of people the same way we would shoot a daredevil fight right, right? so so emotionally it kind of becomes very different these are this is about group dynamics this is about these characters for us and for the fight choreographers and jessica knows this as well as anybody the, the fight choreography, each character on these shows fights very distinctly and very differently. I remember season two of Daredevil, we had many conversations about how Daredevil fought differently than Frank Castle fought. It's almost like an extension of language, the way that they dance in the world, the way that they, that they perform violence is very different. So it's really just about this ballet, or, or rather the symphony of all these different instruments. The way that Luke Cage throws a punch is very different than the way Jessica Jones throws a punch is very different than the way Danny throws a punch. I hope that answers some oh, of your absolutely. question. Yeah. When, when you just prepare these shows, when Netflix, they know exactly what they watch, who they watch, when they watch, everything. So if you just uh, develop this, do you know how much scenes of battle you have to have, how many dialogues, how many relationships? Do you no. Know to be honest, at no point did anybody come and say, you know, this is th this is this is the the algorithm that works. You need to make this fit. They're a very artist-friendly company, so we just came and we said, you know, the, the writers' room and, and Marvel. I was able to say, this is a story I want to tell, and nobody ever said, well, by this minute mark, this thing needs to happen because our science has told us. You know, they're they're very artist-friendly. With uh, with Marvel, everyone got excited for the first Avengers because it was the ensemble. We had two Iron Mans, Thor, Captain America, and then the Avengers, and, they all came, and the Hulk and they all came together. This seems to be following a very similar format: two Daredevils, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. Now everybody's together. Uh, do you think the Marvel is kind of following a formula in that, or do you think that anything from the movies has lent itself to this ensemble and balancing all these characters and making this happen? I mean, I think that's a, that's a Jeff Loeb question, to be honest. Um, mostly, this is just I, I always I can't think about it in those terms. To me, it's right. just about we have these four characters. They're meeting at, they're meeting for the first time in some cases, in some cases not. Um, but I just had to think about it as an ensemble drama. You know, at the end of the day, because it's very you know eight hours of TV is very different than two hours and twenty minutes of the movies. Right. And so the storytelling needs to be. Friend, I, think. So I think it's also pretty, pretty realistic that these guys would cross paths. They're all fighting crime. Yeah. Um, there's a, a big criminal storyline going throughout. I mean, obviously in Daredevil and Iron Fist, you have the hand. It's kind of inevitable that you would cross paths on the mission for good. Right. Of, of all the characters you get to interact with, who do you think is the most interesting dynamic for you? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get the role? How do you get the role? How was the process to get the role? Um, I, I had heard about Colleen. I had been having discussions with Marvel, and I'd heard about Colleen, and I said to my agent, look, if a project ever comes in and 
these are the characteristics, let me know. And she, and she came back and she said, there's this project with a code name, the character's called Christine, but she matches <laughs> everything that you said. And she was like, I'm pretty sure it's Colleen. And so I said, send it to me, I read it, and I was immediately like, okay, that's it. Uh, I auditioned, I, ma I made a self-tape. Finn got cast, they flew me out to screen test with him. I got on a plane and when I landed back in London, I had a phone call from Jeff immediately. And it was, he said, I have three words that are gonna change your life. Welcome to Marvel. Um, it, was a, it was a whirlwind, yeah. And then it was, I think a month after that, I started filming Iron Fist and we rolled straight into Defenders. Could you find your life? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Property or oh, mom. <laughs> Did you have a lot of uh, fight training uh, prior, or? Um, a lot of people think that seem to think that I had was very athletic in some way, but I, yes, I've done fights for other shows. Obviously, on Game of Thrones, I use the whip. Um, my very first job, I learned wushu. But Colleen is her own beast. Um, she knows the katana for starters and she does Aikido and Krav Maga and I'd never tried any of those things before so it was a real, I remember that first month after being cast, it was pretty awful. Uh, I was just eating so much protein and working out six hours a day and it became my life. It's a full-time job trying to bulk up. <laughs> so in the, in the show, I'm sure we'll see her interact with Miss Colleen and interact with Miss Amara eventually. So do you, do you ever consider doing the Daughters of the Dragon spin-off series if you got the chance to? Um, I know that people really want it. Yeah. I think it would be very dependent on who was the showrunner and what the storyline was uh, and if it felt organic, yeah, that we would come together. I definitely, yeah, there's definitely a lot of interest there. I just have to go back for a second. There were more than once on set. I would be there in Video Village and the little, you know, the Colleen outfit, the, the swords whipping around and we're and just like something super cool happens on screen and we're all like, that's, that's great, cool. Okay, so I, I guess now uh, we should get uh, Jessica in there instead of the stunt person and we'd realize that like, Jessica was doing the stunt person. <laughs> um, and she's just, all the work she's put in has been kind of incredible. Yeah. Just wanted to Thank add you. that little aspect. Thank you. I don't think there's a big, big difference between you know, how to maybe do a network show or do streaming, but is there like a five-year plan in terms of defenders, in terms of the season by season? Do you guys have ideas what you want to do for future seasons? I can't plan anything that far in advance. Again, that's just Jeff that's Jeff Lowe question. Jeff question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it feels like, as is, these shows take so long to make, that it feels like once Jeff said, you know, you're doing Defenders, it's like, okay, this is going to be a, a year of my life. Um, I'm not thinking about 20, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so I, that's Jeff. Question. Are there elements of Defenders that kind of leave room for future stories? In their own worlds? Sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, we have to get Luke back into, you know, a place where he's going to go do season two and, and same with JJ. So, yeah. All the characters are very changed by what happens on this. Yeah. Cool. Um, well they said, yeah, they, they were pretty certain that they wanted me to, um, kind of get more, like, ripped, and, um, it's very hard because I wanted to get more bulky, <laughs> and so it's a really hard thing to put, anyone who's tried it will know, it's very hard to put on weight and also lean down at the same time. So that first month before I got the role, when I got the role, I mainly just bulked. And then as soon as we started filming, I started losing it and becoming more ripped. And I've lost all my muscle now because I've not been playing Colleen for like six months. Can you just like turn it off and on and off and No, no. If, if, if I was getting back into this, the Colleen role again, I would be having to do another a month minimum, um, two months really, to get me into the physical state. It's hard, it's a hard role to, to do and you've got to keep it up for, I mean we filmed across, what was it, five months? I have no idea. I think it was five months and then I, I had just done Iron Fist which was six, seven months, something like that. Um, to maintain that physical shape is very, <laughs> is tough, it's a lot of self-control. Do you talk anything about collaborating with the other show ones? Were they had they any involvement with it, or was it just kind of like involved? early on? That was the most involvement. It was, it was kind of you know t we we had t lots of conversations. Um, it was just basically checking in with Mel. At that point, it was just Mel and Cheo, Scott Buck. And look, Iron Fist was still a seed. You know, we, we hadn't seen anyone yet or, or read scripts. Um, but it was just checking in with them. And it was a lot of, mostly through Marvel. But it was kind of pitching, like, this is a story I'd like to tell on Jessica, uh, for Jessica on Defenders. This is a story I'd like to tell for Luke on Defenders. Um, does that more or less jive with where you think you want to go? You know, how can we kind of find a nice place to, so that J.J. Lane's in a place that kind of sends her right into J.J. too, and the same with Luke, you know? 
Um, so it was really collaborative and really lovely. We're all in the same building, so it was a lot of just like walking across the hall, sitting on Chael Coker's couch, and being like, "What up, dude? Let's talk about. Let's talk. Let's let's talk about you know story." And uh, and that was really fun. So you had to put in a lot of man hours and watch each one of those series to get a sense of the character. I wonder how many hours that is. <laughs> thirteen times four. Well, thirteen times five. Yeah, it was a lot. Oh, thank you. Thank you.